We're going to start the five minute challenge and show you how we find a top 50 USA stock pair star using Ultimate Alpha 3.0, our latest and greatest pair trading software. So when you first subscribe, you're going to get an empty watch list like this. And I'm going to go quickly because I'm going to try and find one of these pairs in under five minutes. First thing you need are some tickers. You're going to go to the upper screen and hit download tickers. Here we have pre-screened ticker spreadsheets. We do these by USA stocks. We do them by USA ETFs, Toronto, London, and Australia. We will go for the US stocks right now. Download this spreadsheet. Let's open it up. And what do you see? So you see we've got all of the tickers on the USA stock exchanges updated as of the close on Friday, 21 June 24 sorted by SIC sector code and industry code, and it's been pre-screened for market cap of over $2 billion and average daily traded volume of over $2 million, so that they are uh, easy to borrow and you have liquidity to get in and out of your trades. If you want to play in the smaller space, we have a small cap sheet as well, and if you want all of them together, we have all cap um, also. You can see the three different sheets here. We're going to go with the mid-over. This is what we generally tend to use, and today I want to do a back test of because we're doing a challenge I don't know some of you may remember the Pepsi challenge we're going to look at beverages so in the spreadsheet you have the ticker the name of the company the sector the industry subsector its market cap and its average daily traded volume so we're going to take all of these tickers that are in the beverages all of brewers non-alcoholic and wineries and distillers okay so we're going to copy these tickers and we're going to go and create a group in UA3. We hit the Create Group button, hit Create again. Now we're going to call this Beverages Challenge. Here you can choose your stock exchanges. These are all US, so we just leave it at NYSE. Stock uh, quote feed, you can use Yahoo. You can use inter Brokers. You can also use IQ feed, which we don't have connected at the moment. We're going to use Yahoo because most of you will use that straight out of the box. Email alerts will be enabled by default. Pair update frequency would be once every 10 minutes. We have an intraday update scheduler here, which allows you to set PTF to check the markets at any given window in any given day, or you can leave it empty and it will capture all pricing data that your broker provides or that Yahoo provides, the API provides. Now we have backtest and signal settings. Here we're gonna look at 60 day look back, 60 day ratio, and standard deviation look backs. We're going to have a maximum days in trade of 60. We use 10 basis points commission slippage estimate, and we're going to do a three year back test. We're going to have one entry layer at 2.7 standard deviations stretch for entry at $10,000, and we're going to have an exit at 1.0 standard deviations. We have an RSI filter here. We're not going to set that, so we'll be taking all trades regardless of our RSI value. We say OK. We paste in our tickers and we add the symbols and PTF goes to the Yahoo API has now pulled down five years data on all of those different tickers we then go to the back tester we set our group beverages challenge we say okay and here are all the tickers we now hit find pairs and we get this it's a pre-filter where we can set up to filter by minimum average correlation and minimum average co-integration. We use the co-integration augmented Dickey Fuller test for, for co-integration, and we present it as reverse co-integration. So 0 0.88 would mean a p-value of 0 0.12 or less. And if it were 0 0.9, it would be a p-value of 0 0.10 or less. We like to use this as our initial screen, and we like to see a minimum of 40% co-integration while also being co-integrated. So correlation, I mean, while also being co-integrated. So we say OK to that. UA3 begins the back test. You can see the progress over here. And let me just go over the columns in the back test here. You have the left symbol, the right symbol, three-year back test period, the number of trades, the average correlation over the period for the two symbols, the average co-integration, the spot co-integration. You can get into that in a separate video. The company or growth rate of capital in that pair over the time period, the maximum drawdown, the resulting profit factor, the gross profit of the, uh, of the pair, the commissions and slippage based on the number of trades, the net profit, the average net profit per trade, and the percent of winning trades. We also have a lot more statistics that you can look at here. Um, but for now, those are the key ones we use for this initial screen. As you can see, the back test is progressing nicely. It's just about finished. There are 171 combinations with just that short list. So 
ABV, EV against BFA, BFB, BUD. So it goes and does every one of those permutations. So it's finished. Final number of pairs that meet those pre-screens are only 21. For example, this doesn't look very good. What you can do then is on every one of these column tops, you can just sort by whatever it is. For example, compound annual growth rate. Click it twice. You now have your most profitable to your least profitable pairs. We know that they're all co-integrated on an average co-integration, and we know that they all have at least 40% uh, correlation. But you can also set filters if you wanted to say, let's make sure we have a minimum number of trades of greater than or equal to three years. We need six trades, let's say. And that's taking out a bunch that didn't have six trades. And then we'll say we need an average net profit of trade. Typical screen we use, it has to be greater than or equal to 300 bucks to make it up worth our while. We say that and a bunch more disappears. So what are we left with? We're left with three pairs. Let's have a look at them. This first one looks quite nice. It's BFB versus Monster Beverages. And you've got nine trades. It's correlated, it's co-integrated. Um, Compound annual growth rate, 10% of the capital just left in that pair over three years. Maximum drawdown only 6%, so you have a positive reward risk. Uh, gross profit of 3700 net profit of 3300 average net profit of trade of 373 and 88% were winners. Uh, we've got a couple of other pairs here that look potentially good. This one I wouldn't look at because it's got a very negative reward risk. Yeah, it looked good and then it had a terrible trade, which it's still in. Obviously, some kind of news announcement. So let's take these two and say they could possibly be very good. We save those pairs to our watch list. We get a watch list. They're both here. The first screen we would do is by volatility we want under three percent both are under three percent so we're good there then to make sure you're, you're trading fundamentally correlated companies we want to look at the most important important ratios and business descriptions to to ensure that these are fundamentally similar businesses we right click we hit fundamental snapshot we get the snapshot we've got brown foreman corp bfb versus monster beverage corp both in usa consumer defensive one is wineries and others non-alcoholic beverages uh, price is very similar beta is extremely similar enterprise value very close ev to sales almost bang on ev to ebda very close price earnings pretty close um Price, uh, price to book value almost identical. So these these companies are val valued very similarly. Let's look at the description. Brown Foreman engages in the production and distribution of alcoholic beverages. Uh, whiskey, scotch, tequila, vodka. You look at and recognize a lot of those brands. Monster Beverage engages in the development, marketing, and sale of energy drink beverages. And you've probably heard of Monster Energy Drinks. So those two are in very fundamentally similar businesses, consumer, cyclical, beverages and this one as we showed this has a great back test which we can view again here and is fundamentally correlated and is a pair that we would look to trade so that's it i don't know whether i made it in five minutes but that's how we find a high probability fundamentally correlated pair to trade happy trading everyone